Well, hello everyone, it's Sandra, and I thought I would do a quick video to show how I deal with fungus gnats, which seem to become a problem when I also started seedlings in the house, and my indoor worm bins sort of got went along for the ride, and I noticed more fungus gnats crawling on the surface and then trying to fly away. And I use the yellow sticky paper and things like that, but I also had another worm farmer recommend um, these mosquito bits, which I think are uh, made from the same thing as those mosquito dunks that you hear. But these things are granules. And it says quick kill mosquitoes, but there are fungus snap instructions on the back as well. So what I do with them is I don't just do like one treatment and get it over with. I use my pump sprayer uh, and I put some of the mosquito bits in the pump sprayer so whenever I am wetting bedding or wetting the top uh, corrugated cardboard or brown paper or newspaper or whatever I have on the surface of the bin, whenever I'm spraying and, and quite frankly even spraying my seedlings, you know, I do this about uh, one treatment every two weeks and it really, really keeps the numbers down. Now, the, the deal is, is that the fungus gnats lay their eggs on the surface. So if you go into your worm bins and you stir up your worm bin before you do a treatment, then the, the eggs have already been mixed in there. And when you do the surface treatment with the newspaper or spray the surface even of the bin, you're gonna miss a lot of the eggs. You've already jumbled them into all of the bedding. So it's a good idea to do this before you touch your bedding. Obviously your seedling trays, you're not stirring them up. So if you do a light mist of this, that gets any fungus gnats that lay on the surface of your seedling trays. So what I do is these are like granules, like I said, and you know, I, I just read the instructions and you know, the only, Thing that is hard and fast for me is that you wait 30 minutes so I take just a scoop it's probably about a tablespoon and a half now I am a tea drinker there's my addiction and so I have these little tea bag tea filter things they're individual uh, tea bags sometimes uh, tea shops will give you this and 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 use loose tea and hang the tea bag on the side of the cup that's what they're designed to do but I now use these reusable tea strainers that I put the loose tea in there and I just put this over my mug and the hot tea comes out the bottom. So I don't need these anymore. So I have a box of a hundred of them. And so about every two weeks, I take one of these tea bags and I open it up. And now you could probably use uh, any, any fine mesh material like a cheesecloth or if you've got an old cotton bed sheet that you can that you can cut up you could probably use something like that and again it's just like making tea I, I put my granules of mosquito bits into the tea bag now there's and I fold it over several times just to make it smaller because it's got to go in my pump sprayer right so I want it to be like this tube and then this is the only non-recyclable thing I do which is put a staple in it I'm trying to think of a way I guess I could tie it with a piece of cotton string because when I'm finished with this little tea bag uh, when this pump sprayer is empty with this uh, liquid with water which usually takes about 10 days or so before I'm finished all my with that uh, container of water I throw this in my worm bins and um, they decompose these bits and the tea bag but obviously the staple goes into my worm bin so I think I've talked myself into I think the next time I'm going to use cotton string all right so this is my pump sprayer so this you know needs obviously to be a cylinder so that it fits in the mouth of whatever container you're using. Now, if you want to use just your watering can, you could, you could do that, but for worm bins, a watering can isn't really as 
useful. So this is the pump type sprayer. So what I do is I just, hopefully I can do this without spilling all over. I usually do this in the sink. So I add the water. Now it says on the instructions, let it sit for 30 minutes. But like I said, it takes me a week or more to use up all this water. So I just leave it in there and it continues to control the mosquito bits. Those granules are going to swell up a little bit. And uh, so, you know, the, the tea bag is usually enough to contain them. But I find sometimes that the tea bag will break open before the week to 10 days is up. And that's okay. I just emptied the tea bag and a few loose granules into my Eat My Shorts bin. It'll take care of it. So that's one thing you might uh, see, but it's no harm. Obviously wash your hands after handling this. It's, that's on the instructions as well. So there you go. So that's 30 minutes. Now it's, it's just got to sit. And then any bin that I feel is getting a fungus gnat problem or as a preventative, before I fluff it, uh, I will lightly spray. And then all of those eggs have got the uh, BTI mixture sprayed on them and those fungus gnats will not hatch. So that is, I think, pivotal is that you don't fluff before you spray. Don't fluff before you treat, otherwise you're stirring up the larvae. So that was quick, really quick. Allows me some time to enjoy a cup of tea. Take care, everyone.